Hi, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we're going to be looking at how to measure angles to the nearest degree using a protractor. Now, in class today, we made our own paper protractors, and uh, many of you took those home with you. Some of you might also have a math template at home, which includes a protractor, both a full circle and a semicircle, uh, included on that template. But you are also given a protractor that you can cut out here at the top of your worksheet. So this protractor is what we're going to use to measure this first angle. So with the uh, digital wizardry of uh, this app, Explain Everything, I'm going to take a copy of this protractor from the top. There we go. And now I'm going to move this down over here. Okay. You have to pardon the... Uh, the excess around the edges. Now when you are uh, measuring an angle, you have to line up one out of the two rays or line segments that make up that angle with the zero degree mark on your protractor. I'm going to highlight that line there. If you can see uh, through the protractor, as most are kind of translucent, uh, you should be able to line up the vertex or the uh, corner with the center point of your protractor. And then, when I look at the second line in my angle, that second line is the measure of degrees away from the first line segment or ray in your angle. Now, as you can see, this is 90 degrees wide. So, uh, on my sheet, I'm going to write that it's a 90 degree angle. So, I have to erase all of this, get it out of the way, and then I'm going to move my piece here. There we go, get it back out of the way. Oh, dragon. Uh, let's see. There, it went away. Now I'm going to write in my answers. Okay, so here I'm going to write in the measure of the angle, which is 90 degrees. And because it's a 90 degree angle, I'm going to call it a right angle. And that's pretty much all you have to do. You have to use that protractor, line up the zero degree mark with one of the rays or line segments that make up an angle, and then find the distance between the second ray of that angle. Um, once I figure out how to manipulate and, and move pieces around, I'd be able to demonstrate a little bit more uh, constructively. Uh, but as you can see, that the two angles below uh, number one, number three and number four here, these are both less than 90 degrees. So, of course, anything that's less than 90 degrees is going to be acute. And then any angle that is more than 90 degrees, of course, is going to be obtuse. So use your protractors, whichever protractor you want to use, to measure the angles eh, to the nearest five degrees, let's say. Now down at the bottom you'll see that we have some practice multiplication. You are welcome to use any strategy you like. I am going to use uh, par uh, partitioning rectangles this time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a box and a partition rectangle split up by place value. So I'm going to put my 100 to the left, my 710s in the middle, and my 31s over here at the side. And I'm going to multiply each one of those parts by 4. 4 times 100, of course, is 400s. 4 times 7 is going to give me 28. So 4 times 710s is going to give me 28 tens, or 280. And of course, 3 times 4 is 12. So now, all I have to do is I need to add up those three partial products, 400, 280, and 12. When I add those together, going one place value at a time, from, left, from right to left, I should say, I find that my total is 692. If you have any questions, feel free to have your parents email me or bring them to class tomorrow. Otherwise, have a good day.